Teens mock boy at Burger King, don't notice man on bench. We all know bullying huge problem all over the world, it's been happening before the word even existed. Picking on people for no reason and dumping all your personal frustrations on them is something we see around us. Fortunately, bullying is now a subject many of us are aware of, and the trend of standing up to bullies and having others support you is on the rise. Take, for example, this boy's experience at his local Burger King. Robert is a quiet and studious teenager. Like most teenagers, he loves to play video games and watch movies. He lives in Florida, in a residential community. Unfortunately, after school one day, Robert's outing to a local Burger King for a lunchtime treat turned into a nightmare for him. Why? Because of the bullies. For some reason, a group of teens had recently turned their eyes to him that spring. For weeks, it seemed that every time and everywhere Robert went after school, they were there to bully him. But Robert was a tough kid and didn't let the name calling get to him. That was, until one day, the bullying took a scary turn. Robert was sitting at a table by himself, eating a Whopper and some fries. All of a sudden, the same three teenage boys came out of nowhere and approached him. To onlookers, it probably looked like they knew him because they went directly to him. But their demeanor, though friendly on the surface, hid some dark undertones that would soon reveal the teen's true nature. Hey kid, one of the teens jeered, recognizing him. But before Robert could react, the group of nasty teenagers sat down at the table, cornering him. Leave me alone, he protested, to no avail. What you got there, the bully continued, eyeing Robert's food. Little did he know, they were all being watched. While the interaction between the teens and Robert was occurring, a man was taking notice. He was sitting on a bench near where they were sitting, chowing down on some fries. But as the teasing escalated, he turned his attention toward the four boys. At one point, one of the older teens snatched Robert's drink and maliciously poured it all over Robert's lunch. That's when the man decided to act. As the boy tried to fend off the three bullies as they began to get physical with him, the man stood up. Gentlemen, he said. What are you doing? The teens seemed startled to be interrupted by a stranger. Just playing, sir, said their leader. But the man definitely was not buying it. You got a problem, he asked the teens. Why are you picking on him? The boys were stumped and didn't know how to answer his question. Just playing, the teen repeated in a low voice. His demeanor had changed, and now he was standing with his head down, clearly uncomfortable. The man's words were having an effect. Don't you think your parents would love this? You guys getting arrested for picking on your classmate, the man asked them. You think they'd be proud of you? The older boy had no answer but to offer but a quiet, no, sir. The man then turned to the other two teens, who had been conspicuously silent. Why didn't you guys stop him, the man grilled them. You guys want to be part of this. Again, uh, no, sir. Satisfied that his message had come across, he turned to Robert. Are you okay, he asked him. Why don't you take your lunch, and we'll go over there, he said, offering some company. He then asked the teens to leave. But there was still had one more thing to do that would really slam the message home for these teens. Unbeknownst to the kind man who helped Robert, the entire incident had actually been orchestrated by Burger King and No Bully, an organization dedicated to raising awareness. The franchise aimed to create a thought-provoking social experiment to show the behavior of people when confronted with difficult situations. Little did anyone in the restaurant know that there was another form of bullying going on in the restaurant that day. In addition to the teens bullying the lone boy, the employees also began to bully the burgers they were serving. Before they wrapped them up and served them, they smashed the burgers with their fists. The video elicited countless reactions and sparked a national conversation about bullying. But how did the diners react to being served smashed burgers? The customers' responses to the bullying going on right in front of them versus the bullied food they were served are very telling, and indeed heartbreaking. There were a few people who decided to intervene and help the bullied teen, but sadly, while 95% of people spoke up about their smashed burgers, only 12% were decided to stand up to the bullies. Titled, Bullying Junior, the video's purpose was to see how people would react when they saw a child being bullied. The video clearly hit a nerve, reaching over 8 million views on YouTube to date. The campaign also attracted a lot of attention on Twitter, thankfully, it wasn't just the one man who stood up to the bullies. The experiment was conducted two other times, and, even though there weren't many people willing to step in, 
There was one truly heartwarming moment when a woman sat down to eat with the boy who was being picked on to show him that she was there for him and that she supported him. Kudos to Burger King for releasing such a thought-provoking campaign. But, how do we address the problem of bullying? Although bullying is a huge problem in schools, not all institutions take the issue as seriously or truly know how to address it. A lot of parents report teachers and other school staff downplaying concerns about their child being bullied. Hopefully, every adult, from teachers to parents to random strangers, can learn from this social experiment and not hesitate to help a child who is being bullied.